Hey, it's around here. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how does Substack work with system IO? Do they integrate? Do they work together? Should you have both? And I'm going to give you my two cents. Now, this is a question that came from somebody in my membership. I'm going to share my screen and show you what she wrote. So you can actually pause the video and see what she said. So you can read through it. So this is the email that she wrote me with the different points and what she's hoping to achieve. So just to give you a quick recap, what she's basically saying, can I work with those together? Is there any benefit, pros and cons, and so on? And she's seen other people do, using this for their YouTube, their podcast, and also their courses, but maybe they have separate websites. So first of all, Substack, in case you didn't know, is basically a platform where you can create your own newsletter. And what's unique about Substack is it's very blog style writing. It has an app for Substack as well, where you can actually have your readers do that. And what's good about Substack is the fact that you can really collaborate with other writers, which means that let's, somebody, let's say somebody subscribed to your email list, you can actually, as part of their subscription process, you can actually recommend other writers that you may enjoy, you may like, and then you can reach out to those writers and have them do the same which kind of increases your chances of collaborations to be able to increase your subscribers. So when somebody subscribes to one writer, they can end up subscribing to four. Now, you would have noticed that my um, member of my, uh, in, who's asking this question also brought up the fact that she doesn't like being pitched other writers as well, uh, constantly as well. So that also could be a bit of a bad user experience. You may not want to recommend other writers like that uh, constantly every single time. So you're kind of... Uh, giving away a little bit of equity of, of your efforts, of your marketing efforts to other writers, and you may or may not see a reciprocation. So this is something you just need to be aware of. It's a little bit of a, not necessarily a risky strategy. It's just a strategy that if you want to try it out, you can try it out and see if it actually boosts your engagement. Obviously, you have to have writers at different levels. So if you're a, a, a beginner writer, and you have somebody who's like a mega writer who's got a big audience and a lot of traffic and all that stuff well that writer probably is not going to recommend you because you're you're not going to be compatible so you're always going to be kind of at the same level or you know as otherwise the reciprocation is going to be pretty minimal so you have to just be aware but that's kind of uh how you gotta align yourself with other people who might be at the same level. So therefore that partnership continues to just grow together basically. So that's one thing to be aware of. In, in general, when I talk about traffic, you see that I have a video on my YouTube channel called uh, Traffic, How to Get More. And this particular training video definitely talks about this type of a strategy where you're actually getting in front of other people's audiences. So I definitely like that particular strategy uh, with Substack. So there's definitely merit and validity to it. The second aspect of Substack is integrations with system IO and whether that's really able and possible to be done. And the answer is not really. I'll explain to you why. With Substack, you basically have people opt in to the Substack email list, right? Now, that particular email list is going to live in Substack. And if somebody decides to unsubscribe from Substack, then you're not going to be able to unsubscribe them automatically in system IO at the same time. So let's just say you're trying to run your email list on system IO and also on Substack, two different email providers. What's going to happen if somebody decides to unsubscribe on Substack, they're not automatically unsubscribed on system IO and vice versa. If they're unsubscribed from system IO, they're not unsubscribed on Substack. And it just makes it so you're actually kind of violating spam requirements and legal requirements when somebody requests to unsubscribe you're not you, you're not legally allowed to email them so that's going to pose a problem for you so i definitely do not advise you having two email lists pick one and use that now the thing about system io versus substack is system io has other email marketing features that you just don't have in substack for example cart abandonment email sequence you can actually set up an email sequence to follow up on people that maybe opted in but didn't buy from you you can't quite do that on substack and it just it just doesn't have that same uh type of you know email uh features basically so that's something that you need to also be aware of so it depends on what it is that you're selling if you're just trying to monetize an email list let's just say you want to build a newsletter business and that particular newsletter business is purely to send a weekly newsletter or monthly newsletter of educational content 
And that's the extent of your subscription. That's your service. I mean, that's great. You know, Substack is a great solution for that. It's free. They do take a percentage of your sales. I think they take 10%. Uh, but it's a, it's a great tool because you also have no overheads because if somebody nobody subscribes, you're not paying any subscription fee to something else. So I would say if you're trying to run just a newsletter membership type thing or a newsletter subscription and something like that, then Substack is a great thing. And if you just want to share and build a community like that, that's totally fine. If you want to do digital products that are like online courses, for example, or a membership, uh, where you get Zoom calls and things like that, I definitely think that system will probably be a better strategy and a better software to use. But it's not that you can't use both. It's just that you're you're really basically forfeiting the system IO email sign up as opposed to Substack. So Substack is where you would use your email marketing and your blog and all that in system IO, you would just run your online courses, but you would do your email marketing from Substack. So to me, I don't see a massive amount of value in doing it that way. I would say that if your business model aligns with just being a writer, Substack makes a lot of sense. Uh, but if you're trying to do something with digital products, videos, things like that, then I think that system IO is probably a better choice. Uh, but again, it's all about um, simple, how simple something is to use for you. And also if you don't like the overheads at all, and you're willing to just have that 10% fee taken away from you every time somebody signs up, that's okay too. You just need to be aware of and crunch the numbers depending on your business model as to which way to go. So that's my two cents. Um, personally, I definitely, I, I've signed up for Substack ages ago to try to test it out. And I just logged in again as part of answering this question. And look, if you're starting from scratch and you want to use Substack and you kind of like the email, and the writing side of things, no reason why not. Personally, I think System.io is definitely somewhere that if you're setting up an online course or a coaching business or something like that, I definitely think the System.io is just going to be the better choice. But again, it depends on the business model. So that's about it. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, there is no way to integrate them in terms of, you cannot embed a Substack thing on System.io. You will simply link it as a button. So you will grab the link from Substack, put it on your System.io website, and that's where people would subscribe for your email list on Substack. So that's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. If you've got other questions for me, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. That's about it.